Hey developers, today let's look at Grid, a powerful web component offered by the Vodinflow framework. Now Grid is a component used to take data that you have available on your backend and make it viewable to the UI in a tabular form. But today we're going to look at a few features to help give it a little pizzazz. Let's check it out. To get things started, let's look at the starter code we have here. So we'll start with our person class, which is going to be a very simple pojo uh, with a name, email, and a title. And we added a few getters and setters as well. In addition to that, we created a person service. It's going to do two things for us. Number one, it's going to create these fake people. We're going to add it to an array list, and we're going to put that inside of a method called get people. That will give us an option to retrieve that data on the front end. Finally, in our home view class here, we're going to extend vertical layout and organize our data vertically. Then in our constructor, we're going to have an H1 for our title. We're going to instantiate an instance of our grid component in a very basic way. It's going to take in that person object we looked at earlier. And in this case, we're saying all create columns, we're calling that false. We're going to set our headers of name, email, and title. We will call this get people method here and assign the results or the return from that to be people and then set people as the items to the grid. And finally, we add both of those to the view. Let's see how that looks. And so here's our grid. Without a lot of code, we've taken that backend data, we made it visible in the UI. Again, without using HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, we're doing the Vodinflow framework, which is all Java. However, it's a little plain Jane. I think we can do better than this. To get started, let's add a little styling to this. Now, the Vodin platform, which includes both Flow and Hilla frameworks, has Lumo as the default theme. Lumo has tons of configurations that are very easy to do and help you create a sleek, professional, clean site. You can adjust colors, you can adjust fonts and font sizes, things of that nature, and you can do it in a very seamless way right here in our Java class if you like. So in this case, we simply added a theme variant to that Lumo theme, and we're saying, hey, get row stripes on this grid. So I've already saved this, and let's just see how that looks. And as you can see here, we have alternating stripes throughout the grid. That helps you to see the data a lot better. Now that we've added some styling, what about sorting? That's a pretty popular feature with a grid. Well, we can simply go over here and where it says add column, at the end we're going to say, hey, set sortable, set that equal to true. We're done. I'm going to go ahead and copy this for all of our other columns as well. That one and that one. Don't forget the dots. And just like that, we have three sortable columns now, which as we see, we can sort, just like that. When you see the alternating rows like this, it might make you automatically think you can select them. Unfortunately, right now the user can't. Let's fix that. So we're going to go to our code. We're going to say grid set selection mode, selection mode multi. And let's save that. And now we can actually select different rows in the grid and we can add additional functionality if we like after that. Let's talk about the size of our grid for a minute. Now the Vodin Flow grid component is going to automatically give you a height of 400 pixels by default. Now you can either set the height that you want or we can choose a different default where it's going to expand to the size of the grid itself. And we'll do that by simply going back to our code here and we'll say grid set all rows visible and we'll set that equal to true all right saving that when we go back we should see a much larger grid now i'm going to leverage our lumo theme just a little more by using this variant lumo compact to remove some of that white space on the top and bottom of each row and also removing the border from each row that's going to give us a look like you see right here to get even more ideas on how you can style your Vodin grid, be sure to check out the CSS selectors documentation where you can see how to target individual rows or cells, as well as our overall Lumo style properties documentation, which is actually applicable not only for the grid, but throughout your Vodin flow application. So there's a few ideas on how you can take boring old backend data and make it both usable and visually appealing to your user. We'll include the code and all the links you need to get started down below. And hey, if there's any other topics you would like us to cover, just let us know in the comments.